Tom at the Schoolcraft Community Library. Today we're going to do flour tortillas. They're really simple and they're not, they taste much better than a store-bought tortilla. And when you don't have tortillas, you can say, hey, I got flour, I can whip them up. Okay, so what we are doing is we have got a food processor. You don't need to use a food processor, but if you have one, it makes them so quick. In the food processor, we've got two cups of flour. You need to add to that two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt. You need one teaspoon of baking powder. But you also use, I like to use one teaspoon of, it's a no salt seasoning from Costco. It adds a little amount of zest to it. Put that into your food processor, do a quick mix on it, that's enough. Now you take one tablespoon of oil, I use olive oil, put that in there, and then three quarters cup of water. Sometimes if your tortillas are not quite coming together, coming together, just add another tablespoon of water. It should become a ball, or several little balls. Okay, you want a flour cutting board, just so your tortillas do not stick to it. Pull out your tortilla dough. Come into a nice dough. It should be pliable, not overly sticky, but it shouldn't be dry. Makes a nice little round ball there. You've got your ball and you've got your knife. You want to cut it into, if you want large tortillas, eight, if you want small tortillas, 12. Usually I cut it into eight, but seeing as I'm at the library, I'm surrounded by a bunch of girls, we'll make 12. Cut your dough into four pieces, just usually half and half, and then do that again. And you've got eight tortillas, roughly the same size. We didn't weigh them, I'm not quite that exact on my tortillas. Roll them into balls. Here you have your tortillas, separate them out so they don't uh, rise together, they, don't, they won't rise much. Um, cover them, let them sit for 15 minutes. While you're doing that, you can go make your fillings, which is what we're going to do right now. Today we're going to do a, a chicken taco. For that, we've got a pound of rotisserie chicken. Picked up at, at Costco or pick up everything else. Uh, you just put your rotisserie chicken in, take it off the bone. I cook it with uh, half a cup of salsa, half a cup of water, and then a teaspoon of chicken bouillon, and a couple of shakes of green Tabasco. And you let this cook for about until all the moisture is absorbed, because the moisture will be absorbed in, into the chicken. It'll make it so it's nice and tender, and it'll flake apart nicely. So we get a pulled chicken kind of texture, because this is Rotisserie does not cook quite enough to um, shred yet. Our tortillas have been resting for about 15 minutes. You take your tortilla, you put it on a floured board again. Flour on both sides so the rolling pin does not stick to it. Roll it out. You want them pretty thin. You don't want them too thick or it just becomes like a piece of bread. This isn't a, this isn't a pita. A piece of naan, you want a tortilla. Just nice and thin. It's not always made perfect circles either. This one's a little bit on a, like a, like, like, like a D. You roll up all your tortillas. And make sure it's well floured. Just 
the boiling pin works really well for it because you're pushing right down on the wood and not on some rolling handles so you can actually feel you can feel the, uh, the tortilla better I guess just works so much better than the one that has a rolling handle got more feel for the road okay You have your tortilla. Our chicken is done. Our tortillas are rolled out. We have a cast iron pan set on medium high. I'm gonna put your tortilla on the cast iron pan. It should take, if it's the right heat, about a minute aside. You wanna keep them on here until they start to bubble. And it's just starting to bubble. And you don't wanna overcook them because if you overcook them, they'll become brittle. You start to see little bubbles on the surface of this tortilla here. We'll take a check here. I don't actually time them. I just do it by look. So it's probably about 30 to 60 seconds per side. Banana heat's got heat really cranked up. This is electric stove, so I don't know what temperature it really is. Put your chicken on your tortilla. Don't be stingy. Let me tease. A little bit more tease. <laughs> Fresh pico.